What's going on guys? Hopefully you'll be able to hear me uh, just fine, hopefully. Um, it's cooling off now, so I'm not gonna have my air conditioner running. Uh, so it will be a little easier to hear me. Um, I made a night video a few days ago and it was like, I was just speaking too quietly, I think is what it was. I underestimated the background noise of driving and uh, all that stuff, you know? But, um, oh, there's a little squirrel. Oh, two squirrels. I'm glad it was me that was here right now because if it was someone crazy, driving crazy, then they would have probably gotten killed. So those squirrels stay safe. Um, anyway, I'm super excited. Uh, had the day off yesterday from school. It was Labor Day. Hang out, hang out with some friends. It was great. Um, got some a lot of sleep last night. Went to bed super early and just stayed in bed. Just woke up at 4, woke up at 5, went back to sleep. And woke up again at like 6. But, um, yeah, got all my school reading done. Um, feeling great about that. All my school reading for the week is done. That's a great feeling. Um, and I'm ready for school. I'm ready for school. I've got everything I need. I've got my laptop, my charger. All I've got to do today is show up for class, do a good job, do whatever I'm told. Uh, and well, as far as assignments and things like that. And uh, then I've got to ask my statistics teacher about this uh, online lab that we get into in order to do our schoolwork. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good day. Uh, it's cooler today. It's much cooler outside than it's been, for sure. But, um, I had a topic in mind I wanted to talk about briefly this morning. Um, I am on my way to Cambridge, uh, getting ready to DoorDash. And, um, yeah, I've got an order already. I've just got to get to Cambridge and pick it up. So, we've got about maybe less than 10 minutes. But, um... Anyway, I wanted to talk about something um, interesting, and it is, um, it's a big topic, and I don't want to go all the way in, I don't want to dive all the way in, I kind of want to just touch on it a little bit, so, and it's not going to really satisfy me too much, which is great, because that means I'll be able to make another video later, right, and go into a little bit more detail, I have more time, but, um, so, what I want to talk about a little bit is tolerance, and that's tolerance to other people's beliefs, most specifically. Um, there's a person in my life who I met together with recently, and that person believes differently than I do about the gospel. Um, that person doesn't believe in the Book of Mormon or that... Jesus Christ visited the Americas and they believe that the Bible means certain things and that certain passages in the Bible mean certain things and that's that's where they that's where they stand and they're quite strong on that well yesterday uh, we were talking about things and uh, I was just lightly mentioning about reading the Book of Mormon with my grandparents and they were like they kind of thought it was funny to a certain extent and I was telling them about 3rd Nephi and how when you get to 3rd Nephi, it's like, it's super exciting because, you know, um, that's the point when Jesus Christ appears in the Book of Mormon. And, um, which was a completely mind-blowing concept to them. <laughs> and, which is, that's a, that's, that's fair. That's, that's very, that's very true for a lot of people. It's a mind-blowing thing for a lot of people. A lot of people think he didn't appear in the Americas. I'd say most people don't think about it. Most people don't. And then most people don't believe that that's necessarily true. But um, that person was very standoffish and very matter of fact about, well, you know, this verse that I read in the Bible, you know, says this. And, and it's very clear what it means. So it must mean that he couldn't have come to the Americas. And I'm just like sitting here thinking, like, you know, it's really funny. Like, you're not thinking about what you're saying, you're not thinking about what what you're saying means and like because that just would totally invalidate everything about what we believe if what you're saying is true that would invalidate everything and so are you willing to passively casually um invalidate everything that we believe and say that you know it's all just a bunch of hoo la la <laughs> and 
Louie and Huey and all this kind of stuff. Is that? And so, but I know that she wasn't really trying to do that, but it just, um, it just stood out to me. And, um, there's a guy I watch on YouTube. Um, his channel is called Missionary Discussions. His channel's not really for the faint of heart, um, because he does get into some t intense conversations with people, but he also has some really fruitful ones as well. He, his name is Travis, and he's, he's a lawyer, he lives in Texas, he's a Latter-day Saint, and he's super, super smart. And the missionaries tap, tap into him, and they, uh, they, they talk to him, they get, like, when they have a, they call on him as, as backup sometimes, or member support, or moral support even, um, when they're dealing with a, with a difficult investigator or something like that. And, uh, he goes through a lot of them where, and he records those conversations and posts them on YouTube, so it's like you can enjoy the conversations. And sometimes they're pretty harsh. Sometimes it's just straight up hater, hating, ignorant, anti-Mormons. And other times it's people who actually listen, and sometimes people are actually thinking about things, and they're actually able to have a conversation. Sometimes you can have a dialogue, and even though you disagree, you know, it just works its way out, or it doesn't, and it's fine. But the last video, I just started watching it, and I had to cut it off because it's just, I can't watch it right now. It's too much, but it instantly gave me everything I needed to make this video. And um, the guy on there was basically a straight up hater. And, you know, he had never read the Book of Mormon. He had never even read the whole Bible. But he was, he was, um, he was willing to, uh, you know, he was willing to bash the Book of Mormon. He was willing to bash Joseph Smith. He was willing to bash everything about what we believe. And it's just like, and Travis is smart. He's not going to sit there and like argue with him, but he is going to tell him the truth to his face. And you know, I still haven't watched it all, but it's just interesting the concept of tolerance to me. And it goes both ways because, and I can relate to it too. Because when I found out that the Book was true, when I figured out what, when I figured out what was true, then I was like, okay, this is legit. I know this is true. Then the challenge became to, for me at least, the challenge was to be kind about it and uh, something I said in another video was basically figure out the truth the best you can and don't use it as a weapon don't um or at least don't hit people with it you know what I mean like there's a lot of people who go out in this world and they they intend to hit you with the truth I don't care about your feelings this is the truth and I don't care what you think about it I'm telling you <laughs> and it's like that's not the way to go. That's not very Christ-like. And they say that it is. They say, well, I've been commissioned to do this. Or I've been told to do this. Or I've been called to do this. And there's just a massive oversight in the whole concept of, like... And I'm not perfect either. I mean, I don't necessarily... I don't go to that extreme. But, um, you know, you, you gotta be kind when you talk to people, regardless of what you're talking about. Regardless of why. Even if you're trying to save their soul, you still need to be nice to them. I mean, come on, you know? What is this about, like, we're the Rough Riders and we just show up and mess things up and leave? Like, come on, give me a break. We're not called to do that. We're called to be nice. And arguments can be made about niceness and all that and, like, whether or not to be nice. But what I'm saying is treat people the way you want to be treated. And if you want to be treated by people showing up and yelling at your faces and leaving, then you don't represent the large majority of people. Most people don't want to have people show up and yell at them. That's not what most people want. So, um, yeah. So, um, and like I said, I've struggled. I've struggled in the past with what I believe or with what I believe because I am, I feel so good about it and I want to share it with people. And people are just, certain people are just, not ready to hear that. They don't want to hear it. And um, there's so many variations. And so how do you remain kind? You know, when you are, when you encounter certain things or you encounter differences or you encounter somebody, like someone can believe something that's straight up just not true. And is it kind to tell them? Is it kind to try to red pill them and tell them that they're believing a lie and et cetera? It's probably not. I mean, it depends, right? I mean, it, it's just it's just not because you should, I think that you should respect people's beliefs 
regardless of what they are. You shouldn't come in trying to change people's minds. You shouldn't come in trying to... And this is up for a debate. Like, this is this is a very big topic, and it's a lot. there's a lot of wiggle room. And I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't try to change people's minds, but there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And, yeah, you shouldn't be belligerent. You shouldn't be trying to get them to do something against their will. So, that's the whole thing in a nutshell. I gotta go, because I'm door dashing. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts now. I'll go in here, pick up this this order, get the day going. <laughs> so, <laughs>